Hello, my friends. It's time for the Summer Minis Challenge, hosted by Crafted by Corey. Links to Corey's channel and the playlist will be in the description box. Okay, so for this DIY, you're going to need one of the three pack of clay pots from Dollar Tree's garden area. Embellishment, if you wish. I have a little bit of gingham ribbon here. Some white acrylic folk art paint, bright blue apple barrel, and a little apple red folk art. And a 1.8 inch styrofoam ball from the garden, um, the floral section, excuse me, of Dollar Tree. So first I'm gonna go ahead and get my pot painted white. Okay, so now that my white is dry on my pot, I'm gonna focus on my styrofoam ball and the colors I wanna add are red and blue, just to make it more patriotic. Just add just a little squirt of the blue and a little squirt of my red. And then I'm gonna add just a bit of water to this and then get my styrofoam ball painted. water to fill up the pan and my palette so it's nice and diluted and just take this and apply it directly to my styrofoam ball And the point is for it to have some of the white showing through so that it looks really iced over like an actual snow cone. Okay, this is dry now. I'm gonna take a towel and dab some of the excess and just stuck this in front of the fan. So um, I have gingham and then I have this red and white twine. Um, I think maybe I'll wrap some red and white twine around. So after I secured my twine, I added just a little bit of pot glue to the inside of my pot and secured my styrofoam ball inside. And I made just a small bow with some more of that red and white twine and added that to the front of my pot slash my snow cone cup. And that was it for this. I think this came out so adorable and it looks just like the snow cones I used to get as a kid. I love how this pot, it really with the width of the rim of it, it looks like a white styrofoam cup and this just looks so adorable. Let me know, what do you think? Please check out our host, Corey. She does everything from coastal, trash to treasures, to farmhouse. She's amazing. So for my next DIY, I have one of the buckets you can get in the wedding section. They come in a pack of three, some big clay, various colors of acrylic and paint. So first I'm gonna go ahead and take the handle off the bucket. Bend that down. 
so it looks like a white cup. Okay, so just a piece of ready foam board from Dollar Tree, just to trace out the top of my bucket here so it will support my clay. Okay, so I got about a nice palm size ball of my baked clay that I'm just going to roll out so I can make a coil that looks like a nice big cup of soft serve. Okay, so I've got my rolled out clay and I'm just starting the center and start wrapping this around. And I take another big chunk of clay and get it softened up and flattened so that I can make it into the shape of a popsicle. And um, I use my counter and I'm just like beating on each side just to thicken it up. And so it has a nice width so that I can insert a craft stick that it'll be able to support after it's baked. And once I get the desired shape that I want, I place both pieces into the oven at 325 degrees for about 15 to 25 minutes because there is a pretty good thickness on my little ice cream whip. Okay, so these are finished. And for my ice cream pop, I have these really pretty pastel -y colors. And I have just a white, because this is just gonna be like a soft serve. The inspiration for my ice cream pop are these fun colored glittery tattoos I found at Dollar Tree. I thought they were just so adorable and they have these cute little faces and the different color stripes on um, the different pops I thought was just so cute that I wanted to recreate it in clay. Then I added the stick to see um, how it would look and I snipped it so it wouldn't be as long and I added glitterific hologram paint on top to give it a glittery sugary type look. I use this a lot during Christmas time and a lot of the sweets videos that I made and I like the effect that it gave to the pieces and then I took some glass beads I found in the Crafter Square area of Dollar Tree and sprinkled those on top so they looked like candy sprinkles.
and a simple gray and white twine bow at the base and that was it for this piece i think it came out super sweet pun intended let me know what do you think of this bright colored ice cream pop And to top off my soft serve, I used a uh, real brown. It's a indoor outdoor gloss, so it really gives the effect of like a, a chocolate dip look. So I added two coats of that to really um, have a nice sheen to the top portion. And when that was dry, I added more of that glitterific and more of different colored glass beads. And I think it just came out so adorable. And once all that dried, I added a bit of hot glue and put the styrofoam um, piece that I traced out, hot glue that onto my little bucket and then added my little foam, my little um, ice cream portion on top of that. And I added a little gingham bow just as a little embellishment to the cup. And that was it for this. Let me know what do you think of it? If you're not already subscribed, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. It's totally free and I would love to have you on board. Okay, so for my next two DIYs, I'm going to use uh, pieces from other projects. DIY number four, I have um, this black piece of wood that I painted from another project but never used. And I found these little ice cream cutouts at the Family Dollar. If you have a Family Dollar in your area, always check there. Um, they have a lot of items that Dollar Tree has and they're only a dollar, so you can save the extra 25 cents. So I think it'd be really cute to have different ice cream cones. Six of them fit nicely on here. And I'll just paint these with different colors so they just look like different flavors. Okay, I have light mocha. For the ice cream cones. For my scoops of ice cream, I used lavender sachet, antique white, real brown, crocus yellow, bright green mixed with a little bit of white, purple flash mixed with a little bit of white, Once the paint on the ice cream scoops had dried, I used just a brown paint marker and made some little marks on my cones so they looked more like waffle cones. 
and then I used a bit of that glitterific paint to give a nice sugared sparkle effect to the ice cream scoops and then I applied them to the wooden plank that I had them um, I had originally did a dry fit of them with and I hot glued them to the plank and then I took some multicolored stickers I found in the crafter square area at Dollar Tree and just glued them around for a nice bright border on this little ice cream piece and hot glued some tower blocks to the back so it would stand up and that was it for my cute ice cream sign. Here's another one of the small cutting boards that I showed you guys before in last month's video. We did a bee theme and this is just eight tumbling tower blocks glued together and this is a partial piece of one that I glued to the top. So I think um, I want to use the matte black. I think that'll really make some of these, um, the ones that I choose pop because they do have a bit of a, a glitter to the a glitter effect to them. So I'm going to go ahead and get my cutting board covered in black and then apply my glitter tattoos. So these tattoos are exactly like the bubblegum tattoos we used to have as kids. You just peel off the plastic from the front, place the image, image um, side down because it has a stickiness to the actual image rub a little water on it wait 30 seconds peel the backing paper off and your image will have been transferred onto whatever and you know whatever item that you have applied it to So once about 30 seconds was up, I went ahead and peeled the back off and the image, you really, the glitter isn't as apparent. I think if I would have painted the cutting board white, that the colors really would pop out more. I mean, they are visible, but I think they really would have stood out more. So learn from my mistake. If you find these in Dollar Tree and use them, a white background would look better. But I think it still will look cute on my tear tray. Here's a look at all my summer sweets on a small tier tray. I think everything really came out so adorable. Let me know what do you think of these sweet items I made. And don't forget to check out our host, Corey, and the playlist. The links will be in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. Have a blessed day.